Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty, man. It just done got sexier in the oh, neighborhood. Man. Now, I'm holding down the sexy yeah. already. You know what I'm saying? Now, Idris Elba is in the neighborhood, man. Idris, you look amazing, brother. Oh, do I? Yeah, Thank man. You, man. And I'm going to tell you, dude, like, I was on this kick where I was like, you know what, man? I'm not going to interview anyone that looked better than me. <laughs> then Idris, he got to a point I had no guests. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I got to stop this rule. You know what How many times can you interview Flavor Flav? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, Flav's back in the neighborhood today, Flavor Flav. <laughs> now, Idris, man, now, for real, where are you from, bro? I'm, I'm from London. Okay. Yeah, born so, and raised there. Because I, I was playing with you earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I don't think you are. <laughs> I think that I, I think, think we're so are. intrigued <laughs> with accents and Factors, everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That early on, yeah. I think you were like, "Man, I'm going to tell people I'm from London." Yeah. Banked on the trend. And I'm going to do this accent, and now you're kind of stuck where you got to continue to be Idris Elba from London, England. All right. That's what you're doing. <sighs> Yeah. You know what, man? You got me, man. Yeah. You got me, man. Yeah. This, this is how I really speak. This, yeah. this is my accent right here. Because they yeah, were right. like, oh, well, can you do an American accent? You was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. So, so when did you so-called come to the States? Uh, are, you, it was, are you here? No, no. I've lived here since the late 90s. Right. I lived in New York, New Jersey. I lived in Miami, I lived in Atlanta, and then I, I lived that. in L.A. You was running from the law, right? I was, <laughs> I was on the run. Yeah, I heard that, man. You know, you know how that goes. <laughs> anyway, but, yeah, because so yeah. they might come in there and catch me. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so I lived in New York for a little while, and then I didn't work. When I got to America, I didn't work for, like, four years. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get a job. I heard that. And I think the first job, you ever seen uh, Brown Sugar? Yes, hell yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that? Punk ass dude, uh, Boris Kojo. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Boris. The, light, the light skin one? Yeah. The hot one? Uh -huh. Pretty one. <laughs> yeah, that dude, man. That I want to scratch his face, but anyway, we don't uh -huh. that. Anyway. Just want to put him in a headlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, he, uh, he stole, he's, he's, uh, we auditioned for that same part uh, where he plays the basketball player. Right. And then he got it, but the same casting director was doing The Wire. Oh. Alexa Fogel. And she said, listen, don't worry about Brown Sugar. I got something else for you. Audition for this, and you're thinking I've heard this before, yeah. or I yeah. heard that Idris. And then it was the wire, and the first thing you do when you see is just look yeah. for your name, see how many lines you got. Yeah, mm -hmm. hell, I know that. And I had about four lines in it, but it was string a bell. And I was like, all right, so I auditioned, I got it, I got the job, and it changed my life. Did you know that the wire was going to be what it became? Like that was that was a phenomenon, Idris. Yeah, man. it was like every, like everybody was. On it, you know, yeah. it was like a cult following. But you know, at the time, no one really knew it was going to hit like that because right. you know it wasn't a hit on HBO. The first season was like sleeper hit. No one right. really. Yeah. And then you got to think. Now we're kind of watching shows. You know, Netflix got great things. Mm. Other things, you know, other. Now, there's a lot of cable shows that's out doing commercial. But The Wire was one of those that was early on, like Sopranos, also that kind of right. brought people to viewing cable. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, and it got a big following around the world because I, you know, I went back to London. And, you know, people didn't know I was on The Wire. Two years later, everyone was on The Wire in London and okay. in France. That's like, in France, I was huge in France for Stringer Bell. I didn't know that. Uh-oh. Was mm. he huge in, in France? Okay, was, did you know Idris yeah, in France? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's, from that's, France. You're from, from France, France. Huh? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. See, this is my French accent. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so when I'm in France, uh, this is how Ça I go. You know what, dude? You taking all the jobs. <laughs> yeah, you need to stop. You know what I'm saying? That, if I do an act, if I do a movie, movie too, you the, you're a Compton rapper in the NWA movie. Also. Good Lord. Do you have a Spanish yeah, accent? Yeah. yeah. I don't have a Spanish accent. Not I'm going to work on that, though, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Get that novella money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Best believe that, man. Me, me canta. <laughs> hey, Idris, do you still have to audition? Uh, no. Okay. No, okay. no. Okay, because I, I went I for a part and it said Idris Elba type. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that? You know what I'm no, saying? No, that's not true. And I'm, I'm like, man, like, for <laughs> one, when I read it, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to get this role. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm looking and I'm like, well, I'm like, well, they're not going to ever make that movie. You know what I'm saying? And well, so but, I felt a but, little better. Then I go and it's this movie called No Good Deed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Um, like, so you, when they said Idris Elba type, Idris Elba type, <laughs> you went and got the part. <laughs> which is unfair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come back. We're we going to talk about the new movie that you that bro. you took from me. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That okay. we, all right. And, yeah, and, and, I, I'm, it, I'm sorry about that. I didn't I didn't realize that. Dude, yeah. your apology sounds fake. Yeah, it does. Your apology <laughs> sounds it, fake. It was it fake. I mean, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sorry about it. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Idris Elba is in the neighborhood, man. No good deed. New movie in theaters this mm -hmm. weekend. Now, for those out there, if you've seen the trailer,
Hmm. Yeah, man. The trailer is amazing. I want to give you guys a piece of the trailer. And we, we got to come back and just talk about your crazy ass in this movie. <laughs> crazy. All right, take, take a listen to this. I would have thought of all those brains you've got. You would have figured out the game you're playing by now. Terry, are you here? Now, dude, Idris, we, we're what? so used to seeing you play. Like, this mm-hmm. one was yeah. dark. And yeah. I'm not just talking about our complexion. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this one, like, like when you read the script for No Good D, which Ooh. I told you I also auditioned for, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. but didn't get the part. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I'm not bitter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm not. I don't hate you. I'm just a little salty. You, you sure? No, no, it's not hate. It's like uh, salt, like <laughs> envious. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay. So when you read this script, yeah. are you thinking, like, like, yeah, I can pull this off? Um, you know what? The truth is that that role is dark, and I, I was like, okay, yeah, you know, my audience like to see me, you know, right. nice guy, Eddie, whatever, right. you know. But this this was this was a role that was definitely going to be a challenge for me because I'm I am a nice guy, righteous. Go ahead, um, that's I, why we call I, it I am not crazy, ladies. Just now. putting that out there. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I, it was a challenge for me, but it was so well written. Yeah. It looked like you know it. what I'm saying, and it had loads of layers for me, so it was a gift of a part. So I just had to go for it. Yeah. Man, now when yeah. when you're doing a, a movie such as No Good Deed, bro, like, and we know we you got great bodies of work. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Is this one of those movies where where you not resistant, but where you thinking like, okay, like, man, is is this the one that I want to do? Because this is a real when people say thriller, mm-hmm. this looked like a real. Thriller, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You're terrorizing somebody, you, yeah. like, and you know that's one of those thrilled. where you watch the trailer, and you, I just seen the trailer, yeah, and I'm like, oh my lord, man, like somebody come to my door, bloody, I'm just gonna have to shoot her. <laughs> it is. I saw, I saw the film with an audience right. in LA, and uh, the women were mad at me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It was, yeah. you know, it was like, oh, get him, girl. Mm. Is that that's kind of like your first get him, girl? Yeah, bro, yeah. I Damn. think I think yeah. you should make it up to them like a topless photo shoot or something. I do go topless in the movie. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, perfect. Beautiful. Uh, see, I, I so said the good to the pro- and the bad. I, I said to the producers, I said, look, man, I'm doing all this killing. Yeah. Please, please let me get my shirt off so right. the girls don't feel too bad. Mm-hmm. And they were like, Show okay, us how you did it. Man, look, <laughs> what is your name, mommy? Ricky. Oh, mommy. No doubt. The main one looking at you is Louis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, he played like he was going to take his shirt off. Louis backed up like, ooh. We get hot yeah. chicks in here all the time, Idris. And no it's like, doubt. But finally, we get you right. for the ladies. We're the hot guy. Yeah, yeah for yeah. our yeah. eye candy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. Yeah. You know what it is, But do you man. get the take ladies to take off their shirts? Does yes. You- the girls come in like strippers and bathing suits. We've taken off our shirts. Yeah. It's just radio. I don't want to be involved in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, so excuse you went the quiet, thirst, man. But we never it, get it. You know what I'm saying? It's know, like it's radio. <laughs> so yeah. Sometimes we have strippers down here. Sometimes, Sometimes. I turn my head like every oh, Friday. You know every Friday? Friday? Yeah. Well, why we, are we doing my interview today? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you what we do, man. I bring them down here and I read Bible verses <laughs> yes. while they yeah. lap dance. It's, it's, it's a turnaround project. Let's believe that. Best then, better now. Available at Robert Wayne Footwear.